<laughs> Danger! Incoming zombie at six o'clock! My, my, my. You've been busy, little beavers, haven't you? Galleon! <gasps> what are you doing here? Zophar's restoration is not quite complete, and you've been making faster progress than we expected. Therefore, it's my job to create a little... crisis. <laughs> Tell me, Lucia, what weighs so heavily upon your heart? You should be thrilled, dear Lucia. Your mission is nearly at an end. Go forth, Princess of the Blue Star. Go forth and meet with the goddess of Thea. Or are you starting to realize what the consequences of that meeting will be? <laughs>
So far, the god of destruction and darkness came to the blue star. He preyed on mankind's greed for wealth and power, creating anarchy and chaos where there once was peace and love. Mankind fought one another with furious anger, spilling the blood of others without thought of consequence. Feeding on the dark desire within the hearts of humans, Zophar's power grew exponentially. He used that power to pervert mankind further. Humans, wild with bloodlust, were transformed into hideous beasts. Zophar's tribulation implored Althena to rescue them. <laughs> the terrible battle with Zophar raged on as the people of the Blue Star cried out for solace. so far intended. However, all hope was not lost. A gleaming sanctuary loomed large in the sky. The once dead world of Lunar was transformed into a thriving land of wonder. Althena moved the surviving humans there to live in peace, while the Blue Star recovered from Zophar's assault. Althena had left the Blue Star to safeguard the humans, while I...
Zophar. Ma Master Zophar, come to the aid of your loyal servant. Master Zophar, help me! You promised me eternal beauty and youth when I agreed to your plan. I need your help now. The opposers seek to destroy me with their burning light. Master Zophar, please, Master Zophar, help me! <laughs>
Lucia, the goddess Althena does not exist any longer in this world. Let me explain so that you will understand. My task as Althena was to lead the humans and control the power of the Silver Star so that one day, when the Blue Star was reborn, the humans could return and we could begin anew. However, Lucia, I came to know that while I existed, the humans were not truly happy. They lacked a sense of self-reliance, a sense of pride in their accomplishments. Ah, they had become too dependent on me. When I last came to this world in human form, something quite marvelous happened. I returned to this world, as I had many times previously. However, this time, I was born into the form of a girl named Luna. As Luna, I grew and fell in love with a dragon master named Alex. It was to be my final rebirth. Ah, you see, I chose to remain a human, surrendering my immortality for love. And now, Lucia, you have come seeking my aid, and yet I no longer exist. But what you must know is that you hold the power to accomplish your mission. It has been near you since you arrived. Humans possess the remarkable ability to rise up in adversity and overcome obstacles to make the future bright for their offspring. Lucia, you have never been alone in this journey. To reach this tower, I know that you must have had the help of many good friends. If you trust what you felt in this journey, and also in the power of the companions who've stood at your side, then you need only to believe in the power of humanity to gain it. If that power becomes yours, you shall achieve the one thing Zophar fears most. Victory.
you'd notice. But never mind me, we've got bigger problems. Why do you hesitate? 
to abolish me and complete it. The goal is within your feeble grasp. Take it. Just as I foretold, you are not fit to carry out your assigned task. Liar! That's not true! Then destroy me and accomplish your mission.
Insignificant humans will call. 